And then finally, still working with the compound interest, we know how to solve for A, solve for P, and we can also use this formula to solve for T. Um, and in this case, you know, you know, let's say we don't have the $20,000 to invest, but we still want to have $100,000. Um, so if we have $5,000 and we're investing this into an account earning 8% interest compounded quarterly, how long would it take in order to reach $100,000 at the maturity date? Uh, so we're finding the number of years it would take to get from $5,000 to $100,000. Uh, we're still using the same formula and we're plugging in all of our known values. Still a compound quarterly. And of course, if this was compounded monthly, we'd be using 12 instead of four. If we're compounded semi-annually, we'd be using two instead of four. And so now we're trying to solve for t. Um, and you may notice that t is in the exponent position, so this may be a little tricky to solve for t. But to start out with, we first want to get the parentheses 1 plus 1 0a divided by 4 by itself. So we'll do that by dividing both sides by 5,000. Gives us 20 times. I'm going to simplify that parentheses to 1.02 raised to the 4t. And now the trick here is to get the t out of the exponent position. In order to do that, we have to introduce logarithms. And in its simplest explanation, a logarithm is simply a fancy way of writing an exponent. Okay, so all of the uh, principles and properties of exponents also apply the logs. So we're taking the log of both sides. Okay, this doesn't affect our equality. Uh, the left side is still equal to the right hand side. And what happens is this exponent can be written out front of the log. So we can rewrite this as log of 20 equals 4t times log of 1.02. And now we'd go about solving for t by dividing the 4 in log of 1.02 on both sides. And you can type that directly into your calculator, log of 20 divided by 4 and then divided by log of 1.02. And once you plug that into the calculator, it should give you 37, and I'm going to round to just two decimal places, 37.82 years. And you can round that up to 38 years. So it would take about 38 years for our initial investment of $5,000 to grow to $100,000.